to any moves. We got propaganda and breaking news about Kung Fu Pandas. 420 News. So you can pack your big bong or you can eat a big dong. 420 News. Hey you pigs. Good evening, this is Dick Squartus, Channel 420 News, with an exclusive live update. We come to you tonight, folks, with an alarming and bizarre case of animal abuse that has local authorities describing it as bizarre, but authorities in Weaselville, Kentucky, tell us that a resident there had filled the kiddie pool with coleslaw for his beagles to swim in. Now, local animal authorities are saying this is a clear case of abuse. But we ask you, and local fools on the street, is this abuse? Or is this just a man caring for his pets in his own zany way? We show you live footage of the beagles that, of course, is exclusive to 420 News. Now, we had to blackball a neighbor to get this photo, so it's a 420 exclusive, but as you can see here, this is just, I mean, it's zany. This this man had actually taken the time to hand clot a hundred gallons of coleslaw uh, to fill a kiddie pool up with it. The authorities are saying that in the August heat that, you know, not only was the coleslaw in danger of going bad, but these, these dogs were abused there in a, a hot uh, pile of coleslaw, which is, is alarming. We ask our local animal expert uh, if this is a clear-cut case of abuse. Oh, this is definitely abuse. I've, I've seen enough dolphins with six packs of coke around their beaks that I can just tell when an animal's being beaten, and this thing with the coleslaw is just ridiculous. I mean, the temperatures were 90, you know, 90 plus degrees. I was in the parade and, you know, I was famished and needed ga Gatorade and pink Gatorade. And these dogs, I mean, just look at their face. I mean, they, they look abused. They, they look, you know, tell me they don't look thirsty. And who, I mean, who really puts dogs in a, in a pool to call for? This man should definitely be put in jail and beaten silly and we'll just shoot him with a turkey base to fill it boiling butter. And now we get a view from the other side of the fence, no pun intended, as we have a 420 exclusive interview with the dog's owner is being charged with animal abuse. First off, I'd like to say my name is Toothfit Simmons. And first off, I'd like to give a big F you to Mr. Gr or Mrs. Grundle Shrimp Figgins and his uh, corporate blubber heads. If y'all wanna know the truth about them beagles, I'll tell you. They're triplets, the three of them. We got Kenny Wayne, we got Porkbin, and my Godfather. Yeah, they're triplets. I fix them a, a pool of coleslaw every year on their birthday. Now, we ain't talking about no uh, country bumpkin potato salad here. I mean, we're talking about, I mean, we're talking about 100 gallons of coleslaw here. I mean, I get out the Husqvarna and I got the, uh, you know, I put some mayonnaise in there. Onions, we got the um, cabbage, uh, carrots, uh, lettuce, and of course we got the whisker fish. Now people might think it's crazy, but you know I'm, I cut them up a, a pool full of our coleslaw every year for their birthday. And hey, I mean, you know, you ever try, you know, swimming or something and eating at the same time? You know, doctor would tell you that's a good thing to do. And, uh, I mean, if that ain't a happy beagle, I mean, if that ain't a happy beagle right there, hey, yo, Scott, you're on cameras, check yourself. I mean, you got Kenny Wayne just, you know, doing the back floating there, and then you got, you know, well, I admit, Matt Giver, you know, we could put some swimmers on him now to think about the animal safety, but I made it an extra chunky for him recipe this year. And now I'm be honest, if you don't know who Toothfit Simmons is, then I'll see either a Flatlander, or about as useful as tits on a boar, or a silk hat on a pig, or whatever you want to call it. 
what you're looking at a nine time world noodling champion and the noodler for all your flatlanders out there is I catch fish with my bare hands. In particular, I catch me some whisker, whisker fish with my bare hands. I'm a nine-time champion noodler. So as always, we did ask the neighbors with our 420 fool on the street interviews of random people to see what they thought about this incident. So I was just walking down the convenience store to get my local whisker, and I seen the beagles. The beagles are my good friends and known them for years. And they look so happy in that puddle of coleslaw. They look like pigs in a big little, like, the deuce bucket. Tell them, Randy. Deuce, deuce bucket. Just you know, tell them. Them beagles, I would trade my gun rack for them beagles. They're Those happy are, they're beagles. Happy, they're I happy. can see them. I love them beagles, and they look happy as shit. Man, I ain't saying shit. Y'all didn't even finish coloring me in. Ooh, I'm piping hot about getting pizzas and Chinese food late. I'm piping hot. I'm angry as a junkyard dog. Ooh, I'm piping hot about getting pizzas and Chinese food late. I'm piping hot. I'm angry as a junkyard dog. To tell you the truth, I'ma let y'all ladies and gentlemen in on a little noodling secret to help me win uh, some mini championships. But one of my tricks is bring the corn dog down there and I'll hold it right over the surface of the water. Uh, you know, get those whisker fish coming for the corn dog. The, the whisker fish, they like them corn dogs. Mmm, mmm, they like them corn dogs. And now, I got one final thing to say here, and that's, uh, because of Mr. Gr uh, or Mrs. Grundle Shrimp Biggins, uh, they took my, my Chevy, and I like to say that, uh, because of them now, I'm gonna take all my junk, bring it down to the bend, throw it in there, and hope that it chokes every dolphin and, and, and sea beluga out there and all, all the creatures of the sea. Because of him, Grum the Shrimp Figgins. No, the Chevy got repoed, you fruity hillbilly. For the windy news, we got the story about your nana and how she got to fit this with Cobra Commander. 